This is Twit. So agro I like Twitter. Agri- I just like agro- Twitter. It's just a fun little place where we can talk and say silly things and see pictures. Well, there's of another dogs question. Like there's another question. Does any of this matter? And why does it matter? I mean, Good it's question. a publicly traded company. There are, I mean, given that Twitter, Twitter, Twits, Twits can move markets. Tweets can move markets. So there's a financial incentive to be like, hey, you know, we need to lock this down. It also, I mean, if we look at June, no, January 6th, you could say that tweets also can incite political action, violence. How do we want to call that? So, so your mean, argument is I that it, Twitter is central to conversation in the public square, and so it needs to be secure, reliable, authentic. We count I on it to be that. I would argue that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's also remember back to the days of the fail whale. And yeah, I mean, I'm not, Twitter. it's a lot better than I'm, it used to I'm be. I'm not convinced that, I mean, I guess, I mean, I can't deny it, Stacey, that Twitter does have that impact. You're absolutely right. Um, to me, though, I still see it's kind of as a more frivolous place where people yeah. just throw crap but out. Didn't, no, <laughs> but there were like the Saudi spies who got the um, a job at Twitter and had access, back end access to accounts from activists and then... I don't know if they yeah. murdered people or what happened. Oh uh, well, they I mean, they they revealed things back, and they just got found guilty. Uh, one thing that Mudge points out too is that is that the company kind of was forced by the Indian government, in the in the in the what was some say is the uh, the uh, dusk of their democracy, um, uh, to hire certain people, certain people. Uh, at Twitter, and uh, I mean, and and, and India has been going after Twitter as well, trying to cut uh, political dissension. They're stuck in a lot of vices. Maybe I'm conditioned because I've been on Twitter since, you know, I remember uh, the horse e-books. you were the most popular person. Horse e-books. Yeah, I remember when I no, was me the, too. you know. So Twitter's always been kind of more of a playground for me than a um, yeah. than the place where the national dialogue happens. In fact, I mm-hmm. often think that giving too much importance to tweets even from former presidents, yeah. is a mistake because they're just tweets. Um, but you sound like somebody who is ignoring the reality of like, well, just because I think television was a silly place for right. Westerns and soap-sponsored right. you know, uh, daytime television, yeah. true. it doesn't have an influence on the discourse. True, But that's not true. I mean, Twitter today is not what it was when we joined in like 08 or 07. Stacy playing Newton Minow. Newt, who's, Newt Minow? who's Newt who's Minnow? Newt Minow? Who's Newt Minow? Who's Newt Minow? Television guys go is a vast What old guy is land. Newton Minow? <laughs> Former FCC <laughs> chairman and the guy who oh, said TV that. was a wasteland, a vast wasteland. Vast waste. He oh, was born in 1926. So he's only he's 10 years older father. than me and Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Say my father had me when he was ten. No, I'm kidding. Just kidding. He was Just chairman cheesing. of the FCC in 1961. Oh, yes, this was the. But this was the. <laughs> this was the dawn of tell. This was the say. Stacy. This was when TV yeah. was in its infant age, just like the internet is now. So he came along and oh, said, man. it's all screwed up, it's screwed up the world. And everybody listened. He is still and alive. said he's, TV was awful. He's 96. He was JFK's chairman of the FCC. He's still alive? He's still alive. Barack Obama <laughs> gave him the... Why do you say it like that? Well, he's 96. His, his kid him. came after me because I criti- dared criticize that speech on Twitter, and the kid went after me. He, well, kid, it was a was little late to criticize that speech. That was... A long time ago. Well, I'm, I'm a busy guy, Leo. It takes me a while to get to things. You know, he gave the speech I'm, in 1961. I'm about, I'm about to start tweeting 1968. 50 uh, wait years to see what later, I have to say about Vietnam. Jeff Jarvis noticed and tweeted about it. <laughs> anyway, he won the Presidential Medal of Freedom. It was given to him by uh, Barack Obama in 2016. So he is. You actually might be interested service. in reading the speech, so, Stacey. It's a very yeah. famous speech. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm familiar with the the quote, so I will go check out the speech. Yeah. Just like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, All right. Man. You're like Newt Minow, Leo. Yeah. You, were, you, were, you, were, you <laughs> did a very good Newt Minow imitation. I might I might add, Stacey. You could make a road show out of this. <laughs> Excellent. Me and a, 90, Hal Holbrook a good 96-year-old man. Mark Twain and Stacey Higginbotham as Newt Minow. <laughs> 